What's up guys? How are you guys doing today? So today guys, don't be afraid to be different, have some fun and be yourself guys. But it is currently 5.11. We are off to a very, very late start today. Um, I was, well I woke up pretty late. I woke up around 12 and then, um, and then the Penguins actually played at 1 o'clock today. They lost to Calgary 5-4. Um, they almost got a comeback. It was 5-2 to two going into the third period, and Evgeny Malkin scored twice. Yeah, so there isn't really much going on today. It's it's bright outside for 5-11. It is looking pretty nice outside. Um, yeah, so there isn't really much going on right now. Like, I was just studying religion. I have a religion quest, like a quiz test on... Uh, Wednesday, um, this weekend is, well, Monday is family day, so this is family day weekend, so we get Monday off, and then I was, it was supposed to be on Tuesday, the test, uh, or the quest, but now it has moved to Wednesday, because we're having, like, a guest speaker, yeah, so, um, all, like, it isn't really snowy outside, it's just the, the snow banks, um, because you guys would have seen on Wednesday, it was kind of snowy outside, the Penguins are also playing tomorrow at, which is Sunday. Um, but actually, before this video is going up, they're going to be playing at 12:30. I don't know why. Um, that was like after 30 minutes after I woke up, which it would be like 30 minutes after I woke up today, because I woke up like after 12 today. So, hopefully, I don't know. It was a weird day today. Because they had an early game and an early game tomorrow. They play the New York Rangers tomorrow. Hopefully they can win. They run a two-game win streak. Now they're on a one uh, loss, one game loss streak. So that is not good. But yeah, so I don't know what I'll be doing. John and I are outside right now, and it is now snowing a little bit. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but there is some snow in the air. Uh, there you go. There is a little bit of snow, um, but we are outside to play hockey. I am going to go in net, and I have a chest protector now. It's just a regular chest protector, and uh, I got these pads here. So, and last week, on the snow day, we wore balaclavas because it was kind of cold. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go in that. done outside now we are about to go inside and have some dinner it is a little bit later now it is 803 and um, the Leafs are currently playing their tie to 0 0 with the Arizona Coyotes. It is dark outside. It didn't really snow much. There were a little bit of flurries. I don't know how well you can. No, you can't really see that. Um, but yeah, so it's 8 03. Leafs are tied um, 0 0 with the Arizona Coyotes. That's all I've been doing right now, just watching the Leafs game. We had salmon for dinner after we came inside. Yeah, so I haven't really been doing anything. It's been that way the whole day. Lazy Saturday. I don't know what I'll be doing tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I'm going to record tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see what will happen. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm probably just going to go back to watching the Leafs game. <laughs> There were some 
decent amount of big things in the NHL today that happened. So let's start off with the trade. So let me bring it up on my phone right now. Um, so first today, um, Cam Talbot on the Edmonton Oilers got traded to the Philadelphia Flyers for the goalie Anthony Stolarz who is going to Edmonton. Um, and Cam Talbot has a 0.893 save percentage this season. And, um, and it says the Oilers had to shed uh, four, four, um, 4 million cap hits so that they could activate Andre Secura. Um, and the Flyers, it says the Flyers get a good veteran goalie who could be a positive mentor for the rookie Carter Hart. Although he struggled for the past few seasons, he has put up good numbers and Stolarz has played in 12 games this season, recording a 0 0.92 or 0 0.902 save percentage. He is an RFA uh, at season's end. He was the goalie protected by the Flyers in the Vegas expansion draft. And let's just view the comments. Um, so, um, it's just, uh, like, um, I don't know, people are just kind of, uh, oh, there's a comment that says, I thought Shirelli was fired. People are saying the Flyers won. Um, yeah, people are just saying the Flyers won. Oh, people are saying the Edmonton Oilers won. Um, and people are saying... Oilers won still, and then the Edmonton Oilers made another trade again. They um, they got Sam Gagne again after they traded him away. So they traded away Ryan Spooner and they got Sam Gagne. Sam Gagne said it says he's Sam Gagne's back in Edmonton. He has 37 points in 43 AHL games, so he's in the AHL. Everly was traded, and this says. Eberle was traded for Ryan Strom, who was traded for Ryan Spooner, who is now traded for Sam Gagne. Spooner has 5 points in 41 NHL games this season, so it seems that Edmonton won this trade. And, and people are just saying, never forget that this dude scored 8 points in one game. Ryan Spooner should just buy a home in, <laughs> in every NHL city just to be safe. And... Uh, People are just saying overall, um, uh, like, people are saying Jordan Everle for Sam Gagne. Uh, people are saying gotta feel bad for Spooner. And, uh, yeah, so people are saying Edmonton won this trade. And uh, people are saying bad trade. But, I don't know. Edmonton seems to, people are saying they seem to be winning this trade. And uh, in other news, Eric Carlson is returning tonight after nine games that he was injured for with a lower body injury and uh, also Corey Schneider um, he snapped his regular season uh, win like win the streak drought uh, with um, with 415 days um, and 900 or in 21 games he won on December 27th, 2017, and he is finally back in the win column, and um, there's also a report that the Winnipeg Jets and the Vegas Golden Knights have both shown considerable interest in the Ottawa Senators star winger Mark Stone. I don't know. It was an interesting day in the NHL today. I'm just downstairs playing NHL 19 and another season is over. Um, it is now October 8th, 2021 and we won the um, the Stanley Cup again, so I have zero points this year. Um, but so Jeff Skinner is no longer on my line. 
I don't know how I feel about that. Where am I? I'm somewhere down here somewhere. Jeff Skinner's now on the second line. He's on oh, we have Morgan Riley now. Um, and Jeff Skinner has only ever been on my line. So, I don't know how I feel about this. I'm a 91 overall now. Um, I haven't played a game yet. Um, and uh, last season, I ended up with uh, 555 points in 82 games. So, that's pretty good. Um, and in the playoffs... I ended up getting 170 points. We only played 16 games. We swept every single team. I got 87 goals, 83 assists. And, uh, yeah, I also just got a big contract. Um, I signed for $9 million, almost $10 million. Um, I got a one-year contract, or I got two-year contract, um, and is one way, yeah, so that's pretty cool, um, I don't know how I feel about this, um, because now that, um, Jeff Skinner's not on my line, here, I'll show you the lines that we have, I haven't really checked them, um, but I've only checked the top two, so, look, so we have Alex Nylander now, um, pretty, he's a pretty good player. He's an 89 overall. I'm a 91. I'm the highest rated on the team on forwards. And I still have my buddy Sam Reinhardt. Casey, uh, middle stats on the second line with Jack Eichel. And my buddy Jeff Skinner, he's now on the second line. And then Mike Hoffman's still this there. Nick, Nick Backstrom is on the second line with Marcus Johansson. Um... Kyle Oposo, Zemius Gergensen, and Remy Eli. Um, and then if we have goalies, Devin Dubnik and Scott Darling are still there. Now we just have to check the fence because I believe we got new people. Oh, we got rid of we got rid of Rasmus Sisterlinen. Hmm. We got Morgan Riley now, and we still have Rasmus Darling. So I am the highest overall on the team now. Um, as a 91 but I'm curious to see here let me show you the awards that we got um where 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 uh okay so the awards this year um st st we, we three-peated um and uh where is it and we also we won the president's trophy and we played Vegas in the finals this year, and uh, we won the Prince of Wales. Um, I won the Art Ross again. I won the Hart Memorial again. Rasmus Darlene won the James Norris Trophy. I won the Lady Bing again. And uh, uh, what's I don't know this guy's name, but E. Tolvanen. I definitely got that wrong. Won the Calder Memorial. Uh, I won the Conn Smythe Trophy again. I, uh, Devin Dubnik won the Vesna. He was on our team this year. Um, he won same. He won the um, he won the uh, William M Jennings Trophy, and he he um, Matt Dumba got the Bill Masterson Award. I won the uh, the Bergeron Award. I won the Ted Lindsay. Uh, I won the Mies Richard Award again, and there are all the awards. So, that is going to have to end off today's video. So, I basically like to thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you guys enjoyed. And if you'd like to watch another video, guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on my post notifications, and smash that like button. Smash. Say so much, peace out. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.